we will integrate sine to the fifth power x. Luckily, this is an odd number power, so we can break this apart as the integral of sine to the fourth power x times sine x dx. And the strategy is, because here we have the sine x factor, we are going to write this, this part right here, sine to the fourth power x, in terms of cosine x. This way, we can just use the u substitution. And then, if you want to do that, let's look at this. Sine to the fourth power x. Remember, we only have identity for sine to the second power x. So let's look at this as sine square x raised to the second power. And so far, so good because we don't have any square root or things like that. And then guess what? We have the sine square x. We can immediately write this as the integral, and the inside becomes 1 minus cosine square x. And then that's still raised to the second power. Okay? I don't want cosine of 2x, I want cosine x. This is cosine x raised to the second power. So this is the one that we want. And then we still have the factor of sine x dx on the outside, and this is what we have. And I claim this is easier to integrate because we can use u substitutions. That u equals to cosine x. And remember, the angle had to be the same. This is cosine x, the angle had to be the same. x and x had to be the same. That's why we cannot use the uh, power reduction formula for that because you end up with cosine 2x. That's bad. Anyways, let's finish this. du will be negative sine x dx, and I need to solve for dx right here, du over negative sine x. And I'll take this integral into the u world. We have the integral, and the inside will be 1 minus cosine the u. So we have u squared, and then square that. Okay? And then we, here we have the sine x, and the dx is du over negative sine x. du over negative sine x. And then you see the sine x will cancel each other out, so I will have to have this negative. Let's take it outside first. So here we have negative integral of, this is going to be 1 minus u squared and then squared, du. And this is just a polynomial situation. We can do the power rule backwards for this. But then we have to make sure we expand this out first. So we still have the negative on the outside, and we have the integral, and then we do 1 minus u squared raised to the second power. If you want to write it down twice, expand it, that's okay. And the answer for that will be 1 minus 2 times this and that, so it would be 2u squared, and then plus this square, which is u to the fourth power, du. And then we are ready to integrate. And then let me just account for the negative. This is, will be negative, and open the parentheses. I'll put down the result inside of the parentheses. So the integral of 1 in the u world will be just u, and the integral of negative 2 u to the third, second power will be minus 2 third u to the third power, and then the integral of u to the fourth power is plus 1 over 5 u to the fifth power. And then I'm going to do two things in one step. I will distribute the negative into the parentheses, in the meantime, we know u is equal to cosine x, so I'll change it back. So we have negative u, which is negative cosine x, and then with negative times negative, that's plus. Two third, u to the third power, which is cosine of third power x. And then the last part, negative times one fifth, minus one fifth, and then the u is cosine and that's to the fifth power x. And we are done. Plus c, this is it.